Hey guys, this is Scott and today we're going to be talking about the backend of the 8 degree notification bar pro. Now let's go to notification settings. So we're, here we have general settings. We have the option to enable or disable the notification bar. I'll click enable. Uh, same for the mobile view, enable or disable. I'm going to enable it. We have a reset so only one bar, which we are going to talk about later. We have a default notification bar, so among the various notification bar, you can choose one as the default. Similarly, we have the show notification bar on, so it's, you can select all pages, one pages or any specific pages. I'm just going to quickly save all the settings. Here we have the MailChimp API settings. For the API settings, we will click on get your API key here. I'm just going to click on it. It will direct me to my MailChimp uh, page. So I'm just going to input my username and password and login. So here is my MailChimp. I have already created an app. So this is my API key. I'm just going to copy it, go back to my backend, and paste paste it here and save it. Uh, the plugin also has SMTP configuration, so you can put your SMTP configuration over here and save the settings. So this is the back end of the, so this is the notification bar settings. So we have the MailChimp settings. So this is where all your MailChimp subscriber data will be stored. Currently, since it's a new plugin, I don't have anything here. Similarly, we have the constant contact API setup. So we need API key and the app secret. Click on get API. And I insert my username and password. And sign in. So I'm just going to create a new API. So I'm just going to create a new app. Here's my application name notification bar app company name the website URL and the application description I'm going to agree to the terms and create application so seems like there is an error. Oh, I need to change the URL. So I'm going to include the HTTPS as well, and it should be fine now. So my application is now created. I'm going to copy the key. I'm going to copy the key and paste it here. Then I will get my API. So, so I'm going to click on get access token. I log into my constant contact account. So I'll allow access, copy the access token and paste it here and save. So we're done with the constant contact API key as well. 
so option settings uh, it's currently empty it will populate later on and we have a how to use over here you can have a quick read here's the link to the documentation it will lead you to our detail page and you can click on the documentation over here and this is our full documentation for the plugin you can read it refer it refer to it for your you can refer to it to set up your plugin so this is the about page and here are various links to our organization thank you